make raw, vegan, healthy Valentine's Day truffles for yourself, loved ones, or your family? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Misty Nicole from TheLadyFirstToSave.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today there is another awesome collab on this channel and it is again started by Roxanne of The Guy's Life and this time the Valentine's Day Cake and Dessert Decorating Collab. Today I will be showing you how I make raw vegan chocolate truffles. They are healthy, raw, delicious, vegan, dairy-free gluten-free and the best part they're pretty affordable and super simple to make so join me in getting started and showing how to do that right now to make these dark chocolate raw vegan truffles you will need two cups pitted medjool dates one cup dark chocolate tempered one tablespoon cacao powder the zest and the juice from one organic orange i used a blood orange You'll also need one teaspoon of vanilla. I used Mexican vanilla. I also used one cup of fresh organic walnuts, a generous pinch of pink Himalayan salt. And then to begin, I chopped all of my walnuts finely, put them in at 350 degrees and roasted them, took them out, cooled them, add them to a food processor and added all of my ingredients one by one. And a tip on the chocolate, you can actually temper it in the microwave at 15 second intervals for middle and a half and then stirring in between each session and then I went ahead and pitted all of my dates putting the pits aside to put in compost adding them to my mixture and continuing to process them until they made a dough at that point they were put into the freezer for 20 minutes to harden meanwhile I got my toppings together and for that I used pumpkin seeds ground up again walnuts a mixture of cacao powder and cinnamon as well as half dark sesame seeds and chia seeds in the last container. Then once I had all those together, it was just a matter of creating small golf size balls, coating them in the individual mixture and setting them on my cutting board to dry out for about 15 minutes before I moved on to the next step. And it is such an uber easy process just to kind of get these together. You could really use a myriad of toppings and it moves so quickly in making them. And I love that they're organic and they're fresh and they're exactly what I want them to be each and every time I make them. And what makes them perfect for Valentine's Day, as you can see, is you can customize again your toppings, uber healthy and much better for you than a lot of the Whitman's things that you will commercially find in the store. Then to package everything up, I went to the Dollar Tree and found this uber cute box for Valentine's Day. As you can see, it has a hinge front, it can be reused, and it has a washable lining. I also picked up at Walmart for 74 cents these really cute, small, compostable paper liners that I'm going to use for the truffles. And then the last step is, of course, assembling everything, which is super simple. Just add your liners, and then for my first box, I went straight down the row. In the second box, I kind of mixed them up to give them a little bit more of an assortment. And there you can see everything put together. So simple to make, absolutely delicious. And the best part, no one would ever not want to get this for Valentine's Day. Uber cute. You can put them in the freezer for up to a couple months to store until the holiday. And that's what I'm going to do for my family. And that's how simple it is to make dark vegan raw truffles this season. Everyone, that is how I make my raw vegan chocolate truffles for Valentine's Day. Keep in mind that you could decorate these with a myriad of things from ground walnuts to almonds, pistachios, ground licorice, acai powder, turmeric, cinnamon, coconut flakes, white dark sesame seeds. It is endless. You could also switch out the maple syrup for say agave or coconut syrup or even use say a homemade jam. The possibilities are endless. And if dates aren't your jam, you can actually also use raisins. But keep in mind that if you use a stickier fruit such as raisins, you will need to soak them overnight, drain them, and then you are good to go as well. So I hope that you loved these as much as I do and will consider making some yourself. Also something to mention, I reuse my truffle boxes each year. I just wipe them out and save them. So I make one for each member of my family. They're really awesome, truly versatile. And these truffles can be stored in your deep freeze for up to three months. So I like to make them ahead of time, keep them on hand. They also can be something that you could customize with say different holiday colors. For example, you could make them around November, have them ready for the holiday season and give them out as hostess gifts or for teachers at school or for other people such as your mail carriers and service workers, I'm sure they would love them too. 
Also, the paper liners that you use, you could use uh, silicone that is reusable. I use paper, they can be composted, so keep in mind zero waste when making that as well. Also, as I mentioned, this is a collab, so be sure to check the description bar below for the playlist and give all the ladies that are in this some love because everyone did such an amazing job on their videos and everyone had a great recipe and they deserve to be checked out. Also, again, thanks to Roxanne from The Guy's Life for originating this collab. She's wonderful and awesome, and you should definitely check out her channel, too. Now I want to ask, are you making anything special for Valentine's Day? I would love to hear about it, so please leave me a comment below and let me know what you're making. As always, please be able to hit that red subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let me know what you're making again. I would again love, love to hear about it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourself and to others and have a wonderful rest of your week ahead. Thanks for watching.